In October 1999, the Bay of Bengal began to churn ominously as a low-pressure system developed into a severe cyclonic storm. The storm rapidly intensified, transforming into a super cyclone with wind speeds exceeding 260 kilometers per hour, 160 myths. By October 29, it made landfall near the state flag transport accident in Odisha, formerly Orissa, unleashing its full fury on the state. This was no ordinary cyclone. It was a catastrophic event that would claim thousands of lives and leave an indelible mark on the region. For the people of Odisha, life was about to change forever. When the super cyclone struck Odisha, it brought with it a deadly combination of ferocious winds, torrential rain, and a storm surge that reached heights of up to 8 meters, 26 feet. Entire villages were submerged as seawater surged inland, sweeping away homes, crops, and livestock. Trees were uprooted, power lines were downed, and communication networks were downstanding. The once bustling town of Paradip was left in ruins, with barely any structure left standing. The winds howled like a relentless beast, and for hours, the people of Odisha endured the terrifying force of nature, unable to seek help or escape its wrath. The aftermath of the cyclone revealed the true extent of the devastation. Over 1.000 lives were lost and millions were left homeless. Entire families were wiped out, and survivors were left to grapple with the loss of loved ones, homes, and livelihoods. The destruction of farmland and fishing infrastructure crippled the local economy, plunging the region into a humanitarian crisis. Clean water and food became scarce, and the risk of disease outbreaks loomed large. The most vulnerable, children, the elderly, and the impoverished suffered the most. Odisha was in desperate need of aid, and the scale of the disaster overwhelmed the state's ability to respond. The enormity of the tragedy sparked a massive response from across India and the world. The Indian government, military, and local authorities mobilized rescue and relief operations. Helicopters and boats were deployed to reach stranded communities, delivering food, water, and medical supplies. International aid agencies, including the Red Cross and the United Nations, stepped in to provide assistance. Temporary shelters were set up and volunteers from across the country joined efforts to rebuild the shattered lives of Odisha's people. Despite the challenges of accessing remote and flooded areas, the collective effort showcased the resilience and solidarity of the human spirit. In the months and years following the cyclone, Odisha embarked on a long and arduous journey of recovery. The state government, with support from national and international organizations, focused on rebuilding infrastructure and restoring livelihoods. Schools, homes, and healthcare facilities were reconstructed, and efforts were made to revive agriculture and fishing, the lifeblood of the local economy. The disaster also highlighted the need for better disaster preparedness. Cyclone shelters were built, early warning systems were improved, and communities were educated on how to respond to future cyclones. The people of Odisha, despite their immense suffering, showed remarkable resilience, determined to rebuild and reclaim their lives. The 1999 Odisha cyclone was a wake-up call for India, 
underscoring the importance of disaster preparedness and response. In the years following the disaster, the Indian government established the National Disaster Management Authority, NDMA, and implemented significant improvements in cyclone forecasting, early warning systems, and evacuation protocols. Odisha became a model for disaster resilience with its extensive network of cyclone shelters and community-driven disaster response programs. These measures have since saved countless lives, as seen in subsequent cyclones, where timely evacuations and preparedness efforts minimized casualties. The lessons learned from 1999 have made India a global leader in disaster risk reduction. Every year, on October 29, Odisha remembers the victims of the super cyclone. Memorial services and community gatherings honor the lives lost and celebrate the resilience of those who survived. The disaster, though devastating, forged a stronger sense of community and preparedness among the people of Odisha. It also highlighted the importance of solidarity and global cooperation in times of crisis. For the survivors, the cyclone is a reminder of both their vulnerability to nature's fury and their incredible capacity to endure and rebuild. Odisha's story is one of sorrow, survival, and the enduring hope for a safer future. The Odisha cyclone of 1999 remains one of the most devastating natural disasters in India's history. Its impact was felt not only in the lives it claimed and the destruction it wrought, but also in the lessons it imparted about the need for resilience and preparedness. Today, Odisha stands as a testament to the power of recovery and the importance of proactive disaster management. The legacy of the cyclone serves as a constant reminder of the unpredictable forces of nature and the strength of human determination in the face of adversity. <laughs>